Hi everybody and welcome back. In today's video we go over how small changes can have a huge impact over the long run. Specifically we go over my Euro dollar cipher backtesting results and show how a single strategy can yield more than 15% return. So stay tuned and check it out. Hi there and welcome back. So as many of you know, at least the ones who've been following me here on YouTube and on my Instagram, uh, that lately I've been backtesting the Euro dollar cipher and currently I'm working on my pound, pound dollar, I believe, or pound yen cipher. I think it's pound yen actually, I'm sorry. So, and I, last week I wrapped up the Euro dollar cipher on our one time frame, And now I decided to put all of the, all of the, uh, data into my system data. So what does that mean? So when I, I separately backtest each and every pair and particular strategy per pair, then when I see and what works, what not, I apply some filters for my system. For example, I'm not taking a stop, uh, any patterns that are bigger. I'm not taking any trades that have a bigger stop loss than 75 pips. I might introduce some changes down the line, but for now, I'm not taking trades that have bigger risk of 75 pips. <clears throat> then, furthermore, I'm only trading from 6 in the morning GMT time until uh, 5 p.m. GMT time. Uh, but there's uh, one slight difference for pound yen on a bad pattern. I can also introduce, I can also trade only from 6 in the morning until 1 uh, PM GMT time. So that the, these two things I always know down. So if my cipher backtesting performs very bad until 5 PM, I can then uh, filter additional until 1 PM because I already introduced that filter on Pony and Bat. Okay. So these kind of filters are something that I use into in my system. So that's what I did here, and I found out what's the best time period to trade, what is the uh, and how can this, how can I incorporate this into my complete system. So as many of you have been asking me and sending me messages, hey man, do a little bit more data filtering that helps us to see how we can build profitable strategies and profitable systems. Um, can you do some more videos? I decided maybe the cipher pattern is one of the most profitable patterns on your dollar as well might be something good to show you how I will be incorporating the raw data, filtering it out and then incorporating into my uh, ex already existing system. So in front of myself, you can see that I have Euro dollar uh, hour one cipher data from 2012 until 2018. And I, I've backtested around 126 trades and I got uh, net 127 pips, which is obviously very very bad and most of the people would ditch the pair because you know sucks because you can expect to make only one pip per trade basically you know 126 trades and you would be making 127 pips not worth it uh plus it's over six years period six year period and that it really really sucks although we did make it was a 54 percent profitable 36 percent on uh losing trades and 10 percent i have scratch trades or break even trades uh so the raw data looks like so we started pretty good as you can see here we started good and then we hit a bigger drawdown here like one two three four five trades then we moved good good and then again very bad series of stop losses very bad drawdown period over 400 more than 400 500 pips almost lost in this short time span of few months and then up and down up and down up and down and then just to wrap it up and then with a hot streak and making I don't know how many pips but yeah so this is raw data now we will go into a uh, backtesting tune-up and we will see what will work uh, on this ci uh, cipher on your dollar and can I filter it and adapt it to my system so that my system doesn't turn out to be over complicated and so that I can trade it easier okay because i don't want to have a lot of filters i just want to stick with few filters that i love and prefer like rsi or bought or sold time filters maybe some kind of a divergence depends on a system and basically and you know and maximum stop loss that's everything i need keep it simple stupid kiss and that's how i said to myself you'll be 
you'll be profitable. You just need to backtest a lot of stuff and then add it to your system. A little things add up to big things, and eventually it will it, it will be worth it. So let's go to backtesting tune-up sheet here. By the way, guys, here I have all of these data already prepared, so I'm a little bit biased because I did prepare myself for this video. I know what works here, and I just want to show you and guide you what you gotta watch. So. When I'm back testing, let me zoom this in. When I'm back testing, I'm taking ah, I'm taking into account many things. So, uh, is the candle pre uh, prior to my entry candle overbought or oversold on the RSI based on 3070? Is the same candle overbought? If it is, then is it same candle overbought oversold on 2080? Do we have the XD divergence? Do I have the AB leg that has a minimum of three candles? And then I have uh, like a cumulative uh, sum of three filters. So either is uh, uh, divergence, either is overbought, oversold, or 3070, or whatever. You know? So if any of those is true, then I put one here as well. Is X point RSI? above below 40 60 levels so just to make my life easier when i'm introducing the impulse or anchor length what what kind of risk to reward ratio what is my maximum stop loss in pips what type of entry that's basically long and short in these cases risk to reward for second targets and does the a b leg has a lower low lower close candle or higher 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 close candle and all of this i know down for each and every trade that i manually backtest that i manually put the data into the spreadsheet so for this year as i said i have two versions of uh, two types of time periods that I can trade. One of them is the longer period is from 6 in the morning GMT time zone. By the way, every data, every trade I took here is entered in the time zone that I'm trading so that I can easily filter this. And I, just, I want it to be GMT time zone because there is no daylight saving time, you know, adding hour, de uh, deducting hour, or whatever it is. So I just said GMT is not changing time zones. I want to be in that time zone so that I can match my trading based on GMT. So when I added filters from 6 to 5 p.m., I ended up making just 10 pips more. Here we have 127 pips and here we have 136.5 pips, so 9.5 pips more. I actually made just by filtering and uh, taking trades only in my time period and my system allows me to do so. However, if you go a little bit deeper here, you can see that from 2 p.m. until 5 p.m., I've actually lost more pips than I made. So it means that I lost, I don't know, 570 here, and then we have 730 pips, and made just 300 pips, so makes me a loss of 400 pips. Basically, this time period throughout the years that I backtested would last me around 4 to 5 percent. So I said, okay, let's remove this time period as well. Okay, so because this time period, by the way, matches my pound yen bat filtering. Okay, so I have only two time, time periods that I can trade. If when I filter this, I wouldn't get a decent results. I would probably scratch this cipher and not include it into my you know, system and I wouldn't be trading ciphers on hour one because what I see and what I find is a valid cipher is just not profitable for me. That doesn't mean that the same cipher that I see on euro dollar, if I see it on any different pair, might not be profitable there in that time period. It might. We will see in some future backtestings. Okay, so let's add this filter as well. Okay, so let's move here. We have to add a filter just to take trades until 1 p.m. There we go. So that immediately makes us 400 pips more, or roughly 430 pips more. So now we have some decent results. We can actually make six, almost 6% 6 return. Okay, I'll, I will not say in returns because you all, all of that returns depends on your risk to reward and your risk man management actually how, how much, what kind of, what, what amount of money are you willing to risk to gain some percentage, okay? So that allows us to make 400 pips more. Okay, so that's something that I can work with. Okay, those are decent results. Now let's see, can I add some more filters to it so that I can increase this 
earnings okay so first of all my standard system system uh standard system filter is uh, no higher risk than 75 pips okay i gotta tell you a spoiler spoiler alert but i think i'm gonna increase this because some of the other pairs are giving me like at least for cypher better results if i increase my risk for a little bit and then it might be worth it 103 pips no i cannot trade 107 pips i cannot trade this as well and i think those are the only two yeah so guys this here shows me actual of uh, uh maximum risk per every trade that i took okay so everything is here so i s there we go we did made like 10 pips more okay so what do i use in my system right now to make it very very simple i use only two filters okay i did i did match all of this i did write down all of them however i found that only if i check out these two is it overbought overbought and oversold based on the rsi 3070 and 2080 i have the best results so uh, in this video, I won't go over all of this here, but I'm just giving you the ideas what you can do and what you can use when you're uh, filtering on your own. Okay, so let's check out overbought, oversold on this. So minus one in my case is when the, the uh, pattern is overbought. One when the pattern is oversold. Uh, pardon me. Minus one when pattern is oversold. One when pattern is overbought based on the RSI conditions conditions 30 and 70 so overbought is when it goes above 70 if the if that's the case i put number one if that's not the case i put number zero if the price action goes below 30 i put minus one if it doesn't go i put zero okay same goes for 20 and 80 so let's try and see if the over if i can if i remove oversold and overbought conditions will that increase my earnings here no it actually reduces them that means that i'm also profitable uh, trading your euro, euro dollar cipher uh on this time period when they're overbought and oversold based on the conditions 30 and 70 on the rsi so let's we are gonna take all of the overbought and oversold considering that we have the we have the price action below 30 and above 70 but we need to check the overbought over 80 rsi and oversold below 20. so let's check out uh let's remove the one let's just stay with the zero will this increase this number or not boom additional 80 pips or so and to be honest I knew that this is going to happen because I did prepare myself, as I said. But yeah, that's the power of filtering. Now, I want to show you how we increase. So we increase this. So I want to bring this 638 pips within trades into my Bada Beam Bada Boom system. OK, so I have here I prepare myself. So I have my old system here, which was producing 7128 7, pips over the like five year period over 480 trades and my win percentage was 55 percent 40 percent of trades i lost and five percent of trades were break-even trades okay now uh when i added the ciphers on our one on euro dollar i have i have a different story it's not a big difference but there is a different story so let's see how did this impact my trading so this is new system, bada boom, bada boom, bada beam, bada boom system. But we have this include includes cipher pattern on euro dollar. So we have increased in number of trades, we have increased in number of pips, and we have increased in in uh, percentage of winning trades. So now we are winning 56 percent of time, thirty nine percent of time we are losing, and five percent of times we have break even trades pretty decent if you ask me but let's see this so let's let's get back up to the old system here and let's see the back testing now uh, what is it money management and let's see so we let's say that you are trading for example hundred thousand dollars let's just go crazy here hundred thousand dollars and that uh, i got a maximum profit trigger is so when are you planning to increase your lot sizes 
and we are gonna set to okay so what did we did here let me just explain this money how many 16 lots okay just give me a second guys this i did not prepare myself this is uh on a go i'm just want to show you how how can ciphers increase your you know performance for a lot uh how and how little things adds up very quickly so how many lot sizes do we want to add we want to add uh 30 so we want to add 50 60 lot sizes 60 micro lots there we go okay so what this means is that we are starting with hundred thousand dollars that my maximum acceptable drawdown is ten percent okay that every thirty thousand dollars we will increase our lot size for 60 micro lots so that's actually what six standard standard lots yeah i think it is standard no no start size no 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 it's actually 0 0.6 i think no it doesn't make sense mini 1.6 lot so six mini lots yeah six yeah th there we go there we go okay so and that we are starting with 16 mini lots which makes us starting with 1.6 standard lot and that every thirty thousand dollars we will add six mini lots to uh, our trading positions okay and if you're using fixed lot sizes if we are not increasing it throughout the period of five years we will uh, we will make hundred percent return which basically makes us around twenty percent return each and every year and if we increase as i said this every thirty thousand for six mini lots we are gonna make 150 percent almost like 40 percent 42 percent more than with the fixed lot sizes which makes us 146 and throughout the five-year period almost 30 percent return now you can play with the risk and rewards here and you can make more or less depends on your uh risk tolerance okay now this is the old system let's check out the same results with the new system okay now this yeah let's uh, let's check uh, let's check out the results with the new system where we added the cipher pattern this is new system here we have more trades more pips and we introduce the cipher so the money management here is let's say that we are trading hundred thousand dollars our maximum risk would be uh, ten percent as as in in the old system let's say that we are increasing our lot sizes every thirty thousand dollars just like in the old system that we are trading with our mini lots and that our maximum money acceleration is like six yeah is it six was it six mini lots yes six mini lots and manual mini lots starts uh -huh, uh -huh. okay no there we go so what do we have here is actual mini no no we have to start with the same size so our starting size was 16 in the old system yes is it 16 let's see but a boom our old system has a starting size of 16 but we didn't calculate yeah let's put it here on manual yeah there we go so manual and then put it 16 yeah so okay 16 lot size uh, 1.6 standard lot or 16 mini lots thirty thousand dollars is profit trigger and money acceleration we are adding six mini lots uh as soon as we get a profit and as, so as soon as we make thirty thousand dollars our return is 146 percent with the old system with the new system we have we are trading the same amount of money we are our profit trigger is the same and money acceleration is the same manual search start size is the same however we are making 20 percent more can you see this almost 20 percent more last time we made 146 percent but now we are making 163 percent so it's what 17 percent more just by introducing the uh, cipher pattern into the game that's how powerful those six pips are because over the uh, 600 pips are over the long run throughout the period they're actually producing seven, 17 percent more returns 
So I hope this helps you to see how little things can add up in, in, in trading, how little things are important and kind of motivates you to start backtesting on your own and start creating your trading system. If you're new here, guys, consider subscribing. This kind of videos I record on a weekly basis there is always some kind of testing, there are always some kind of strategies and there are more videos like uh, for uh, interviews and hot seats with other successful traders, uh, some kind of educational videos in finances and finance education, wealth building, passive income and all of that good stuff. So if you like this kind of content, consider subscribing below, hit that bell button and you know, share the video, leave a comment. Uh, let's help YouTube algorithm rank this video as high as it can so that we can help as many people as possible. And with that being said, I got to thank you for watching this video until the end and speak to you soon. Bye bye.